With the second pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Chet Holmgren from Gonzaga University. Ryan Little. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy Shady Mike Gaming, and welcome to another NBA 2K22 Jump Shot Fix, guys. Today we are back on the PC, and we are working on Oklahoma City Thunder rookie phenom Chet Holmgren. Now, first and foremost, guys, if you do like this type of content, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on uh, so you don't miss as we're going through the NBA this summer. I mean, be sure to hit the like button. Um, it really helps a smaller channel like mine uh, really get these videos out there and into the spotlight. All right, so let's go ahead and get into Chet Holmgren. Now, if you're not new to the channel and you've been around for a while, uh, you actually know that I really don't like working on rookies or college players or high school players. Uh, reason being is they're often very inconsistent with their movements and their forms and things of that nature. Sometimes it can just be hard to replicate. Uh, but uh, you guys made it very well known <laughs> that you wanted uh, Chet Holmgren, uh, that you wanted uh, Pal, uh, Paolo Bancaro, uh, show saying his name sometimes. So I'm going to make sure I'm able to uh, deliver those for you. Now, guys, again, uh, this is mostly going to be based off of what I saw um, in Chet Holmgren's three summer league games. And that's about it. Um, one thing I said I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go digging through a bunch of Gonzaga footage, a bunch of high school footage. Uh, we want this to be focused on the summer league games. And if there's anything that's a little bit off or if there's anything that needs to be updated throughout the season, we'll do so. But uh, you know, young players, rookie players. Um, you think Jason Tam, sometimes these guys change their shooting forms completely. They get with shooting coaches, they get with strength coaches, they learn new moves. So, guys, we're really just going off of Chet Holmgren and what we've seen so far. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys. So when we're looking at Chet Holmgren's base, we are looking for three specific details. Now, the first, and it's going to be very apparent because it's the first thing that pops up when you're, it's the first thing that sticks out when you look at Chet Holmgren's shot is his foot stance. Um, he's got his right foot uh, in front of the left. Um, and it's pretty significant the way that he stands uh, on most of his jump shots. Um, sometimes it's a little bit more severe and sometimes it's not as pronounced, but for the most part, that's going to be a detail we're looking for, right foot in front of the left. Um, what comes with that right foot in front of the left, you'll notice he bends his knees on the shot. He, for the most part, bends them inwards while that right foot is in front of the left. Um, and as he's coming through that form, you'll notice he kind of makes his body uh, go goes in uh, like a Z shape. Uh, this is a detail that we've noticed in high school, college, summer league. Um, so, you know, there's no surprises there. Um, the last and final uh, detail that we're looking for uh, with this base um, is we're also noticing his elevation on the shot. Um, there's very low elevation on the shot. Um, he barely jumps forward. It's pretty much like he's elevating and jumping uh, in the same spot. Um, we were able to find the perfect base for Chet Holmgren. I really like the one that we came up with. It does have literally one problem Problem, which just kills me uh, this base does cause him for some reason to hold his follow-through with both hands I don't love that 
Um, so I'll make sure that we have an alternate um, for, uh, you know, for everybody that's kind of like me and that that kind of bothers them. Because I, I, I notice, yes, sometimes he holds the follow through with one hand, but he usually doesn't hold it with both. So I, I, even though we did find the perfect base with the perfect form, I, I didn't love uh, that aspect of that base. Now, we do have a second base that is able to fix that problem. And when Chet shoots, again, if you don't care about that arm thing, you don't have to address this at all. But uh, we do have a, another base that uh, is very similar, um, very low uh, vertical, um, not much jumping forward. Um, the only difference is, is it doesn't have as much of a dip. You need a little bit more um, of a dip than that. And his legs come forward, I think, just a little bit too much, but it's not that crazy. So um, if you're like me and you, you are kind of bothered by him holding that follow through, um, this is a great alternative that still does a lot of the things uh, that we're looking for in the shot. Guys, next up, we're going to talk about Chet Holmgren's form. And, you know, there's a couple of details that we're going to look at with the form um, that, that make it pretty unique. And I, I think the only reason we capture some of these details is because of the length of his arms. But you're going to look first and foremost, we're going to talk about his set point. Um, you'll notice his shot, right? His arm is going to be at a 90 degree angle um, or sometimes a little bit higher than a 90 degree angle. But you'll notice even when his arm arm is at that angle uh the ball is still like high it's a high release even though his arm is still at a 90 degree angle probably because of the uh height or the length excuse me of his arms um so you want that arm at kind of a 90 degree angle and pretty much like directly in the front of his hair i know it's a weird detail to look for but that's what we're going for um one other slight detail that it was sometimes the case but not all all the times the case is you'll notice that his right elbow his shooting elbow is often higher uh, than the off elbow, which is very unique and obscure. You don't see that much. There's very few athletes you'll see that with. So, you know, that was something that I wanted to capture, but I didn't care if we did capture it. But luckily, we were able to get that in there slightly. You'll notice that offhand um, does protrude out a little bit higher than the offhand. Um, one detail you will notice, it's extremely subtle. And I think when people were making this jump shot, they didn't catch it. Is Chet Holmgren does have a thumb flick, believe it or not. Uh, when you watch his shot from that reverse angle he does flick it off of that left hand it's very slight but it does happen so we do want to make sure we capture that um and the last and final and one of the most telling details about chet holmgren's shot is his uh his arm uh, i guess when he shooting arm does not extend all the way when he goes to shoot so when chet shoots you'll see kind of this uh hooking motion when he shoots and you'll notice there's not full extension on that shooting arm and now we have seen players uh, shoot like this before. We think about our Joel Embiid's, our, our Paul George's and things of that nature. Um, Chet Homer is going to be another one uh, that we add to that list. He doesn't have that full extension uh, on the jump shot. All right, guys, and we are back uh, with Chet Holmgren. Um, and as we take a look uh, in the menu, the first base uh, that we did show uh, is base 100. Uh, this is the one that he does have that uh, that follow through, which I didn't like. Um, for an alternative, you can use base 102. Now, because of Chet's height, uh, you'll notice you can't select 102. So what you do is go to his height, drop it down a little bit, um, and you can go to 102. Now, honestly, I felt like 102 was a little slow, or excuse me, it was a little fast, so I, I think I would use very slow for 102, but uh, depending on what you're gonna use, um, I think 100 is the most accurate, so um, it's personal preference uh, on that one. Uh, we blend release 119 uh, with Amateur 5. Um, Amateur 5 is gonna give us uh, that uh, kind of 
a non-extended shooting arm as we move over to the uh, moving jump shots guys for the free throw we go with uh, free throw 70 it's got a high release it's got a high uh free throw so i really like 70 for him i'm um, for the dribble pull up guys we went with uh luka Doncic. um not a whole lot of vert but the reason we chose it was because when he goes to the right we kind of twisted his body um when i saw him do it Um, had no footage for him on the spin jumper, so I really uh, liked Trey Young for him. So I just picked that. Um, as we get more footage, uh, we'll look and see which is the most accurate. Um, I, you know, we'll, we'll we'll play that by ear. Um, for the step back, um, that was another one. I really uh, picked the step back that had the least amount of vert and looked natural for a seven footer um, to be doing some of these animations. Don't see him. Haven't seen Chet do a lot of step backs or anything like that uh, yet. Um, but again, as we get more footage, uh, I really, really like this for uh, for Chad. It looked like something that he would do. Um, when we go to the layups and dunks, um, guys, I went with the long athletes package. I think it's important not to overthink it here. Uh, the extension, the length, um, you're dealing with guys um, as long as Chad. You're usually going to be um, dealing with the long athletes package. Um, only really saw two handed dunks from Chad. So basic hangs, um, the two hands under the basket, uh, quick drop. Um, I didn't really overthink this either because even with these dunk packages, you can still trigger one-handed dunks. You just got to put the input in and do a one-handed dunk. So um, I just went with what I saw from Chet. Um, not a lot of dunks just yet, but all the ones that I saw from him, college, high school, um, summer league, uh, were two-handed. And, you know, a lot of times he was hanging um, on the rim. Uh, as we go to the fade, guys, we had a lot of options. Uh, but when I saw him fade, um, I saw him do do that one-legged fade to the left so i went with basic two another option honestly guys i thought we could have also went with nickel nicola Jokic. i felt like um some of his fades looked like yoke um that sh uh somber shuffle that he does whatever it's called so i thought you know that was something that we could use for the hook i noticed full extension on the hook shot so we're going with joel Embiid. I went with the Anthony Davis uh, post hop because it's got that one legged fade as well. Um, and then going the other direction just doesn't have that much vert. So it fits his body uh, type well. Um, now, guys, this was where the handles, guys, I just really went for it. I just did what my personal preference was. For the dribble style, I went with power. Um, for the signature size up here, I went with Carmelo Anthony. Um, and for the signature combo, I went with Penny Hardaway. Now, my thought process and my logic, and y'all could completely disagree with me on this, but I just saw Chet's go-to dribble like whenever he gets in trouble he goes behind the back that's what i was noticing from watching his him play live is when like even on plays he wasn't scoring his go-to when he gets in trouble he goes behind the back so the penny hardaway had two behind the back dribbles that's why i went with it that's really all it was not that deep we didn't see him do this but this was kind of uh my thought process um honestly if you don't want to do any of that stuff guys i would think about going with the tracy mcgrady um it's not super complicated um or you could just go with uh the basic um, guys, let me know what you thought about this video. This video has way less fact and way more speculation in it than my videos usually do um, because we don't have as much footage on these rookies. So um, if you guys want and want to see that same thing, we can do the same thing for um, Paolo Bancaro um, and the rookie for Houston um, Smith. Um, so, you know, we, we can, you know, do as much as we can uh, with these signature shots. But other than that, guys, it is your boy Shady Mike Gaming. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know again what you thought of this style video um it's your boy shady mike i'm signing out peace threes